Hey, Muffin here. So I had this crazy idea of what if there was a super realistic mode in Blitz where there was no repair kits, no consumables, if you got tracked just like you would have in real life, either fighting during one of the wars, uh, you couldn't move your tank for the rest of the game, like just a super realistic mode. And we did just a 7 vs 7 access for allied tanks and understandably you definitely need um, your buttons for firing and changing ammo and stuff like that but in terms of just a super realistic mode where if your engine gets shot out excuse me you can't repair it you have to kind of go with what you have um, if your track gets shot out, obviously, as mentioned, you can't move the rest of the game as a track definitely took a lot longer than seven minutes to repair. And so just going through the entire game of whatever damage you take, you basically just carry that with you. So if you have one of your crew members knocked out or um, your ammo rack gets damaged or your engine gets damaged, turret ring, whatever the case may be, once it's damaged, it's basically damaged for the rest of the game. So we just tried this out uh, over the course of just a few games just to see what this was like. Want to thank all my subscribers that have helped with this as <laughs> this, this really added a completely unique and challenging experience that was much different than the Blitz feel itself. So now I had taken off battle markers and I'd kind of put this into a replay um, overlaying a different more realistic tank aimer just to kind of add more of that realism and feel of what it's like because obviously in real life you're not going to have highlighted tanks or hit point bars and there are games like War Thunder and things you can do that with, and I think it would be really quite interesting if Blitz had a mode like this, where <laughs> it just took the realism to like a different level. There's the realism and realistic mode in Blitz, where if you're coming across a target and you're looking to shoot them, it doesn't have highlighted areas that... Um, you have a less chance of penetrating or not. And so this one, I ended up getting tracked. And as you can see, I now officially can't move. Now these other two tigers, they're just fighting other allied tanks and we're just kind of looking around, trying to see if we can get eyes on just what we have, spotting some of these allied tanks, these Cromwells that are just coming up. We're getting hit. <laughs> Wow, is it a rough experience not to be able to move when getting tracked. But honestly, that's how it was historically. It's not like tankers had repair kits or something <laughs> just to get things fixed within seconds. It just wasn't there. So I unfortunately was knocked out. Our tig uh, tiger was unfortunately knocked out. Um, looks like our other tiger got tracked, so he couldn't move. But that's just more of like the realism that I just wanted to see what Blitz would be like. So once again, just tried this with a couple, um, couple of the games here. Now I'm in the Tiger and just have like Stroom Tigers, Cromwells, um, Panzer IVs, just, you know, KV-2s, things of that sort. And <laughs> it, it really, really sucked when you either got your ammo rack damaged or something because it's amazing just how much more inefficient your tank becomes when you have those things damaged so we're just going along here and just trying to see what we can do and honestly like i think this actually would be a pretty fun game mode but let me know in the comments below what you think i mean obviously needing like I had mentioned, you need your button to fire and um, things of that sort, but um, just to have a much more realistic uh, game mode like this with no consumables, 
no repair kits, um, you know, things of that sort, so no being able to repair your track. And we actually did have one game where two tanks got on, um, that were tracked, that were both on the opposing team, and they were the only ones left and they couldn't move. <laughs> And it just basically just kind of ended in a draw. So a much, much different experience. I actually just ended up getting my ammo rack damaged trying to cross over. And so now I'm shooting at half capacity um, here, just like at half loading speed, which definitely uh, drops my DPM quite a bit able to get that shot off in the firefly which is quite nice just trying to see just what we can do here it really does when doing this makes this a completely different game in a way so it looks like <laughs> looks like the allies are going to be able to win this one again History is definitely repeating itself. We're getting very so much outnumbered. And okay, so that was basically the end of that one. And we've got one more after this. So honestly, like quite challenging. Yep, so just as <laughs> just as I had figured. So going into one last game here, um, wanted to go into uh, Panzer IV just to see what we, could, what we could do. And so just trying to get to an area to spot. Okay, so we got an oncoming Russian T-34 coming over here on the left. Looks like, ooh, did not quite take that shot in time, just barely missed, was not able to quite make it through. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Gotta get out of there. Okay, so... I am just looking to see what shots might be available that we could possibly get on some of these enemies. And Okay, so shots are being taken from all sides. Come on. Seeing some targets down this way. Okay, beautiful shot there right in that T-34. Looks like some of the tanks are starting to fall. Let's see if we can get any eyes on some of the targets kind of pinned here. Got the support here from this VK, which is nice. Shot off on the T-34 once again. Looks like they're closing in. Another great shot there on the T-34. Let's see what we can do, if we can hold them off. And... Oh... Okay, beautiful shot on the Firefly. <laughs> Unfortunately, I took a hit. Definitely love kind of playing the lower tiers as it uh, makes it a little bit more challenging. Beautiful hit on again on that Firefly. Okay, we <laughs> got a, I got a backup here. It's interesting even with playing with this mode, I'm much more conscientious and almost a bit more, oh shoot, and I just got my track knocked out. So <laughs> here, here I can't actually move the rest of this game. So that really, really bites. But because of things like this, I almost become a much, much more conscientious player. So anyway, I thought this was kind of a fun idea. Add that extra layer of realism. Let me know what you guys think. If this is some kind of mode or experiment that would be fun to do as maybe an event in Blitz, this is the Muffin here. Stay cool and keep tanking.